Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful figurative abstract piece. Let's get to it. So this is what we'll be using today. This is burnt umber, yellow ochre, titanium white and Van Dyke brown. And then just a variety of paint brushes. I've got some soft pastels today, a pencil, um, some water in a spray bottle and just a sponge cut in half. Okay, so I'm using canvas board today and I've just pre-sprayed the canvas board with some water to help spread the paint easier. So the paint that I'm using is just that burnt umber and I'm just going to spread it all around to just give the background kind of a uniform warmth to it. Now I'm drawing the figure. Now the figure may be a bit daunting. You can use a reference picture if you want or get a family member to stand in front of you. But just simple structures. So the angular bits of the arm kind of like two triangles and then do two S shapes going down for the figure. I'm just emphasizing this a little bit with some white. And I'm using the darker Van Dyke brown now to kind of just add a little bit more depth to the picture. And it's okay if we paint over the top of our figure because we can still kind of see her underneath and later on we'll go over her and bring her back out. Now I'm just adding a little bit more detail to her. I kind of wanted to see what it would look like if I sprayed some water. And now I'm blow drying. Just letting the picture dry before I do the next layer on top. And this is, this is just a makeup brush, which is really nice for like spreading and blending paint together little hack if you want. So now I'm using the soft pastel and just going over her lines again so that I can see her. After all, she is the focal point of our picture. Now I've just got some soft pastels in red and blue and I'm just smudging them in. Adding just some highlights to her body. Abstract painting is really more focused on the mood that you're trying to express rather than the visual um, components. So for example, if you were being a little bit more angry and you wanted to express anger in your picture, you would do like really big rapid brush strokes and you would keep those brush strokes there to kind of, when people are looking at it when it's dry, they can see just like how rushed it looks. This one, I wanted it to be a little bit more of a muted feeling. So like, a um, in the morning hours or something like that where you're getting ready or you're doing a big stretch after a nice sleep or something like that. So I wanted these colors to eventually be a little bit more blended together. So I've done the lines and then just off camera, I kind of spread that gray black down a little bit more. And now I'm going over with some white to kind of blend it all together. So this is the yellow ochre that I've now mixed in with some white to get a bit of a lighter yellow ochre color. 
And I'm just adding that on top to the areas that don't really have a lot of dark colors on them. So where there's kind of a lot of white. Now I'm just adding some interesting um, strokes um, with abstract painting. It's about adding kind of interesting components to it as well. So I kind of like thought it would be cool to have some like these white lines going down and then emphasizing them a bit with the darker colors around them. And then that upper quadrant I felt was looking a little bare. So what I'm going to do is extend her um, arms out a bit and I'll use the, the kitchen sponge for this. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Kitchen sponges are very useful. You'd be surprised. Just adding some more blue. Remember these are soft pastels, so you can just kind of, uh, if you want, imagine them like chalk. Just add them on and then you can smudge them around. And I wanted some red on the other side and some blue on the other side. So when you're doing paintings um, for the composition element, it's important to have balance, but not symmetry. So you don't do the exact same thing on each side, but maybe if you've got a little bit of red on one side, you might add a dash on the other side or have a red building or something on the other side so that there's, there's kind of like a balance to the painting. So I added this lighter colour in, but I didn't really like it very much, so I'm just going to go over it again with some white. And that's the really great thing about abstract, is that it's kind of trial and error. You can do something and then if it you don't like it and it's not working with the painting, you can just paint over it. And it actually gives the painting a sort of history to it, which is very cool and exciting to look at visually. Just some finishing touches here, kind of blending around, making everything uniform and um, bringing it all together. And that's it. Don't forget at the end, my favorite part when you finish is to sign your painting. I tried doing it with the um, charcoal pencil, but it didn't quite work. So I'm going over it with paint now. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see and what you think of this picture in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.